based on my vision. Hi, thank you for joining us. My name is Pastor Dave Pound. Uh, I am here as a missionary with West Nairobi School, and we are here uh, with songs and scriptures. Today, uh, we're going to be starting a uh, four-day uh, series on what we call a daily God encounter. Some people call this like a quiet time or a da daily prayer time, but a church that I worked at in America for about 10 different years, we started calling this a daily God encounter. And, and we came up with this because a lot of people that um, we were trying to teach the importance of getting with God daily in a prayer time, um, they would call this like a, a quiet time or something like that. And, and people would say, I just don't have time to get quiet. I don't have time to get quiet with God. I have a busy life. I, I do all these things every day. I don't have time to get quiet with God. And, and so the pastor I was working with there, we were talking and, and we were trying to teach this importance. And, and so we, we said, you know, it, it really has to be a time with God where you're getting alone with God and, and you're really spending real time in His presence. And, and so the term that, that he came up with and, and that I said, yeah, I really believe that that's good is, is a, a daily God encounter or, or an encounter with God every day and, and we said DGE for that daily God encounter and, and so we, we built into that and really tried to teach people the importance of that because we don't want to go a day without having a true encounter with God and so we're going to talk about this over the next couple of days and, and I want to teach you what I do for my daily God encounter and, and why that's so important and, and just some scriptures to consider today as, as we start this on um, this first day. Uh, Ephesians 6.18, Paul starts, or sorry, is, is ending this letter of Ephesians and he says this, um, you know, this idea of that, that we need to have every day um, uh, pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayer requests, that, that we're supposed to pray in the Spirit on all occasions, with all kinds of prayer requests for, for all the people of God. In, in Matthew 6, Jesus is talking um, to, to, you know, we know the, the apostles, and he's on uh, the Sermon on the Mount and this thing, and, and he's talking about go into your room and, and close the door and, and make your, your prayer time with God. And, and he's making this idea of this prayer time should be between you and him alone. And, and he goes on and he's talking about what we call the Lord's Prayer. And, and, you know, some people make a big deal about memorizing that. I think it's good to memorize the Lord's Prayer, but really the, you know, the principles are the most important thing there of, of you know, making God's name holy and, and God's will being done and, and forgiveness and, and those kinds of things. And, and really important in that daily God encounter is, is not just prayer, but studying the Bible in your life. And one of the greatest verses that I think is, is in the entire Bible, trying to understand reading the Bible in, in Joshua 1. God is talking to Joshua and, and he's relating to him. He's explaining all these things. Moses has died now. Joshua is going to be the new leader of all of Israel. And he tells him this, this amazing, amazing verse. He says to him, um, keep the law on your lips. Meditate on it day and night. He says, be careful to keep it so that your life is going to be good. Things will go well with you. Meditate on it day and night, that it's always on your lips. You're always able to talk about it. And so as we discover this this week over the next couple of days, I, I want you to be thinking, do you encounter God every single day? Or is it just on Sundays, just when you come to KBC or, or whatever church? Or, or is it just occasionally that you ever have some sort of encounter with God? What does that daily God encounter look like for you? I hope you join me tomorrow as we continue to discover what this looks like. My